my name is Etty Lewinstein and I'm the owner of Plonk Wine Merchants. Now today we're going to talk about a very basic and simple topic, how to open a bottle of wine. Now this may seem like something super simple that you might not need instructions for, but I'm going to give you a few great and handy tips that will help make your life much easier when you're trying to open a bottle of wine for friends. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to start with a very simple aluminum waiter style corkscrew. Now there are tons of corkscrews on the market that are very complex, they're battery operated, you have your rabbits, there are tons of things out there, but I personally like the very basic waiter style corkscrew that actually has a double hinge, which I'll show you in a minute will make the process very easy. So what you want to do first is you want to open up the blade, okay, there's this little sharp blade on the inside of the corkscrew and you want to press very firmly on the upper lip of the, of the bottleneck right underneath, okay? Some people try to open the, the foil from the bottom. I actually like to start right under the little rim where the glass starts. So you want to press very firmly and with your left hand, if you're right-handed, you want to swivel the bottle open, so rotate, keep your right hand firm, press very firmly with the actual blade and then you want to pull up you get the foil off in one piece, okay? Then you close the blade back up, you open up the hinge, and you open up the spiral part. Now you wanna grab the spiral pretty firmly again, it'll make the process much easier. When you're looking at the cork, you wanna stick the spiral right in the middle, okay? So you're not gonna break the actual cork into two pieces, it's all gonna come out in one piece. So stick the spiral right in the middle, get a firm gripping, and start rotating it clockwise to the right until you're at the bottom of the spiral. Now you want to start with the first part of the hinge, hold it very firmly with your left hand, pull up with your right, and then you're going to come to the second part of the hinge, which is on the bottom of the corkscrew, and pull right up, all in one piece, quite simple. Now once you've got your bottle open, I want to talk about decanting. Now first you want to take the cork out, just get it out there. Okay, now there are two reasons why you might want to decant a bottle of wine. First of all, most white wines don't get decanted because the point of decanting is really to soften the tannins on a wine. So red wines are usually much more tannic than whites. Typically, you won't really be decanting any whites unless it's a very unique wine that's been aged on its skins and you have some tannins. So let's focus on decanting red wines. So the two instances where you actually want to decant a wine is one, if the wine is very young, it has big tannins, say a young Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa or a young Malbec from Mendoza in Argentina. These wines are very tannic and they'll really benefit from some aeration. Now when you want to decant, you want to stick the neck in the bottle way deep into the decanter and you want to start pouring it down in. Now what this will do you see there's a lot of surface area at the bottom of the, of the decanter and so you're really going to oxygenate the wine and that interaction of oxygen with the tannins will really soften the wine's mouthfeel. Now the second instance in which you want to use a decanter is if you have a very old aged wine, say an old bottle of Bordeaux, which is a, a, typically a blend of Cabernet Merlot and Cabernet Franc with some other blending grapes involved as well. What happens there with old bottles of wine when they're actually aged on their sides, or even if they're aged upright, you're gonna get some sediment that collects and that will totally precipitate and settle down to the bottom of the bottle. Now when you're decanting this wine, there often uh, comes a filter. It's sort of a mesh silver filter that you put at the top of the decanter, and what that will do is that will help sift out all the sediment so what ends up at the, actually, at the bottom of the decanter is just liquid from the bottle and no sediment at all. Another trick that a lot of sommeliers use in restaurants is when they're pouring the bottle of wine into the decanter, they'll have a little candle at the bottom of the bottle that will help shed some light at the bottom of the bottle and it'll help show you where their sediment is so that when you're pouring, you stop where the sediment starts. And in that case, you actually don't need one of those mesh filters. You can just use the light of the candle to show you where the, there's actually this thick sediment that's at the bottom of the bottle. So hopefully this has given you some good tips about A, how to choose a great corkscrew, how to open a bottle of wine, and when to use a decanter.